Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Animotion. In this channel, I will show you how to do animation mostly on After Effects and today I'm going to show you how to do object animation. I'm just going to quickly show you what I did here and what are we going to do today. So it's just a simple square animation. So in order to do this, you need to go to File and create a new project. I want to save that and create a new composition by clicking on the button there. Name your composition whatever you want and leave the dimension to 1920 by 1080. Duration to 5 seconds and you can change your background color to whatever but I'm going to stick with that color. Alright, and before we start animating, let's turn on our title action save here by clicking on this rectangle button here. This is just for a guide. So if you click on this rectangle tool and then yeah, just choose your fill. I'm just gonna make it white. And basically I'm gonna hover over my cursor to the center of the screen here. And oh, just approximately. And then hold click and hold on the screen and then hold control and shift and drag your cursor along the screen to create a perfect um, square right from the center and the first thing I want to do I want to animate the scale so if you click on the layer and then hit S on your keyboard and then click on the stopwatch icon to activate the keyframe so the keyframe will show up on the uh, wherever your playhead is and I want to create another keyframe which is the final keyframe and just click on this diamond um, icon here to add a new keyframe don't click on the this stopwatch icon again because that's just going to de deactivate it. So it's, your keyframes will be gone if you click on it again. So I'm just going to undo that. And okay, so leave your final uh, keyframe to be 100 in scale and then they're starting to be zero. So now if you preview it by either clicking on this play button or just hitting zero on your keyboard, you got a square animating in. Now, to give a little bit more flavor to the square, um, I'm going to add a rotation to it. So if you click on the layer, hit an R on your keyboard, and then do this exact same thing. Create two keyframes, and the starting keyframes, I'm going to set it to 2070. You can do whatever you want. And let's preview that again. Now it looks a bit more interesting than before. Now, um, I'm going to... Now that it's animating in, I want to make it um, animate it out of the frame. So I'm just going to do a position animation on that. And I'm going to start the position animation on uh, 2 seconds. So move your playhead to 2 seconds, click on the layer, hit P on the keyboard, and then do the exact same thing. But this time on the final um, keyframe, we're going to move the object way out of the frame. Now, if you hit on a layer again and hit U on your keyboard, it'll show you all of the keyframes that you've done. Let's preview it again and see how it looks. Perfect! I love it already. Um, I'm just going to um, do another thing to make it a bit more interesting. Um, so I'm just going to duplicate this layer. To do that, just click on your layer and then hit Ctrl D on your keyboard. And then I'm going to make this second square to be black so that we can differentiate it. And I want to make it start animating on, on 2 seconds. So just move your playhead to 2 seconds. And then click on the black um, square layer. And then hit open square bracket on your keyboard. And that's just basically going to move your starting point, starting point of the layer to wherever your playhead is. Let's preview it again see how it looks looks much better. Looks more interesting than before, isn't it? So that's the lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and feel free to leave any comment um, if you have any questions.